Now we're going to go to new details about that young couple who may have died trying to take a photo at Yosemite. The young man's brother now says they had, a, they had set up a camera to take a photo just moments before the fall. Amy is here with more. Good morning, Amy. Hey, good morning, everyone. And the Bay Area couple described themselves as travel obsessed, keeping a photo blog called Holidays and Happily Ever Afters that detailed their adventures around the globe. And they even warned against taking dangerous selfies, asking, is our life just worth one photo? This morning, we're learning the couple behind the daredevil videos like this. And picture-perfect moments like these may have fallen 800 feet to their depths in Yosemite after trying to take a selfie. Supposedly there's a crime scene up there, so I can't shoot from there. Vishnu Viswanath with his wife Meenakshi were at picturesque Taft Point. His brother telling the Associated Press the couple had set up their tripod near the edge to take a selfie before tragically plummeting off the cliff. Nothing yeah. seemed like anything was wrong or, or anything like that. It seemed like they were there doing what they love to do. Just months ago, the couple posted this photo with the caption, a lot of us, including yours truly, is a fan of daredevilry attempts of standing at the edge of cliffs and skyscrapers. But did you know that wind gusts can be fatal? Is our life just worth one photo? Those may have been prophetic words. Investigators examining whether wind could have been a factor in the fall. This photo, thought to be one of the last photos taken of Meenakshi, taken by a passerby near the spot believed to be where the couple fell to their death. Meenakshi seen here with her signature pink hair, but without her husband. Some people have commented that parts of the cliff lack safety railings, but some witnesses who were there that day say the couple fell from a spot with a railing. The trend of trying to snap the perfect selfie, no matter the risk, can have fatal consequences. According to one study, there have been 124 deaths in those under 24 as a result. Last month, a teen reportedly died trying to take a selfie at Nevada Fall, also in Yosemite. And over the summer, three vloggers from a popular YouTube channel died after one of them slipped into a waterfall and the other two fell trying to catch her. And listen to this other recent study. There were 259 selfie fatalities from October of 2011 to November of last year. That study published in the Journal of Family Medicine and Primary Care recommending dangerous tourist areas actually should designate no selfie zones yeah, in treacherous should. spots yeah. to let people know, hey, again, this photo yeah, yeah. isn't worth your life. Oh boy. oh, boy. What a story. Okay, Amy, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.